What's going on guys? It's Caesar the Wolf from the Animals Play YouTube channel, your number one source for all Clash Royale content. I've got another great video for you guys today, but first make sure you guys hit that like button. If this video makes 50,000, we've changed it now, 50,000 views guys, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you guys tell all your friends about the video. It's definitely going to be a really informative video. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, so make sure you guys hit that like button, leave a comment, and share with your friends. Alright, today's video guys, I've got a great one for you. I'm going to show you guys a brand new deck that I've invented and it is working very well. Are you guys ready to see it? All right. All right, guys, and this is it right here. Look on your screen, guys. This is my new deck I've been playing with. I actually just started playing with it um, probably less than 24 hours ago, but so far I'm really enjoying it. I even have cards that I can upgrade and it's still destroying my opponents. All right, so what we've got here, guys, it's a 3.5 Elixir deck. It does extremely well. You can play this deck in ladder and in tournaments. Uh, I really don't know why I didn't think of the, about this deck before, but um, let's take a look at why it's so deadly. You guys definitely need to give this deck a try and let me know how it goes. Um, Alright guys, so everybody and their brother these days are running the Elite Barbarian at 6 Elixir, so I'm playing, it, I'm playing that card pretty much as a counter, and I like to counter push with Elite Barbs. I don't like to use them as straight offense unless there's a tank or something coming at me, and then I'll try to use them as offense on the opposite lane. But anyway, we'll get into more of that later. Um, but obviously I'm still running the Ice Golem. A lot of my cards are still the same. These are some of my favorite cards to use, guys. Ice Golem is so unique. You can use that to kite troops, including the Elite Barbarian. So that's another counter. I've got the Ice Golem and the Elite Barbs are counters to the Elite Barbarian. Um, then I also have Musketeer for anti-air. And then I also have the Minions for anti-air as well. And also the Mega Minion is anti-air. So I have three anti-air. Plus I also have Fireball and Zap, which are, I think, some of the most important spells to play in any deck. Now, the kicker card here in this in this uh, deck that I've just started playing with is the Valkyrie. And uh, why am I playing the Valkyrie in the deck? Okay, so I found a really good pushing. I used to use the Hog Rider a lot, guys. I'm kind of stepping away from that now, at least for right now. And I'm switching out the Hog Rider. Same cost, four Elixir, for the Valkyrie. And why am I doing that? Because I like to push. You know, I like to do the pig push with the Hog Rider and the Ice Golem. But um, I found that... If I instead will go ahead and um, I can get my 10 elites or push going, guys, I can run a Valkyrie as my little tank, and then I can run the elite barbarians behind it. I can push that Valkyrie to the tower, and everybody has their anti elite elite barbarian counter now. That everybody's running skeleton army or uh, things like that, um, and you'll see, guys, that the Valkyrie just wipes out anything that they try to put down in front. Or barbarians, yeah, they just try to. It just Valkyrie pretty just wipes out everything. It's really insane. Um, so let's get into the first replay, guys. I'll show you guys what this deck is good against. All right, guys. Now check this deck out. This guy is actually running some of everybody's most hated cards, the Royal Giant and Elite Barbarians in the same deck. And we're going to put this on two times the speed. I'm just going to walk you through it so we can get through a couple more replays um, just to show you guys how to, how, to, how to use this deck. All right. We're going to drop the Ice Golem out in front. He's going to log me, take care of that Mega Minion. Now I want you to see, guys, there's the Elite Barbarians. I'm going to drop the Valkyrie. Now, that was a really good combo, dropping the, the Electro Wizard to stun my Valkyrie. Without that Electro Wizard, those Elite Barbs are toast. So keep that in mind. I had to drop some extra troops, uh, extra, some extra Elixir there to take that out. I can easily take out the Royal Giant. That Valkyrie also helps take out the Royal Giant, guys, which is great. Going to get rid of that Electro Wizard. Easy peasy. Now the Bowler. I also have troops to take out the Bowler. I have air troops, guys. I have minions and mega minion. You'll see that they're able to take out that Bowler pretty easily. And here comes my favorite push, guys. Look at this, guys. Fireball doesn't do it. I was able to zap right before the tower, too. See how I pushed my Valkyrie to the tower. And I have another Valkyrie ready to counter his Elite Barbarians. And that's what I wanted to show you guys on this replay. How to take down that Royal Giant with Elite Barbs and counter Elite Barbs. So it's, it's definitely anti-Royal Giant and anti-Elite Barbarians. Which is very important. A lot of people are running the, those cards in their decks these days. Alright, the next one I'll show you guys is... How this deck does against air. Now, lots of tournaments I'm seeing. Everybody's running Lava Hound and Balloon and Air Troops. 
and things like that. So how does this deck stack up against the all air decks? Okay, he drops. So what, what you're going to want to do is he drops that Lava Hound in the right lane. You're going to want to drop in something in the left lane. Drop your elite barbs real quick. Try to get down and get a quick tower. Now he's running range here, but I've got balloons. I'm sorry, he's got balloon. I've got minions and mega minion and musketeer to take down that balloon. He did do some tower damage to me. I'm not afraid though. There's that awesome ice golem explosion. Helps take out those minions easily. That's why you really want to have that. Really want to have that ice golem and zap in your deck because those two together, the death damage and the zap, can take out a big minion horde just like that. Here we go. Here's my push again to the tower. I got the musketeer there. And there's my Elite Barbarians almost taking down the whole tower. That's a 10 Elixir push. It's pretty expensive. Now he does have an Elixir pump up. You also want a Fireball. Anytime you see an Elixir pump, you kind of want to make sure you Fireball. Take that damage. Make sure he's not able to save up that Elixir. Sometimes it's hard to get in there and get that Balloon down, guys. Some guys can play that Balloon perfectly where you can't touch it without hitting the Lava Hound first. That's okay. He's running his... His Lava Hound again. I'm going to run my Elite Barbarians down the lane and take his second tower out. Now I've got to do is sit back and defend here. And I've got plenty of anti-air to do it, guys. Look, the Musketeers are going to sit back, take out that stuff. Good game, bro. So it's really good against anti-air too, guys. All right, here we go, guys. This guy, I want to show you guys another card that a lot of people are playing. A lot of people are playing the Graveyard now. So let's take a look at how this does against the Graveyard. I don't know that he has the card yet. Now, sometimes um, Elite Barbarians is a decent counter against Graveyard unless they have Furries. And there's my must, there's my Valkyrie. Now, see, I did my push, but look at this. He's going to get a lot of damage on my tower, but so am I on his tower. I actually took his before he could take mine. So now I know he's got the Graveyard. I almost got him a 3-crown already. I've almost got a 3-crown just with that push, guys. The Mega Minion in the back, the Valkyrie to the front, Elite Barbarians following closely behind. I took a tower and almost took his king's tower. Now I'm being really cautious. I also have minions in this deck, guys. Minions is a really good counter to the to the graveyard spell. You can just drop, hover those minions right over top of the spell when he puts it down, and they're going to take care of it. I'm thinking he's going to drop it anytime. So I'm going to go ahead and place a golem here in the back. No, he's actually going to put it on the other side. So here's my Valkyrie, which does get frozen, but there's my minions to to uh, pick up the damage. To finish off the job there, guys. I'm trying so hard to 3-crown him. And there's the uh, there's the anti-elite barbarians right there, guys. He had the skeleton army to stop my elite barbarians. But I had the zap, though. Here's my minions again. They got frozen this time. They do take a tower, but it's not going to be quick enough because I took out the king's tower and got the 3-crown. So that's how you play against the graveyard spell, guys. You have Valkyrie, you have elite barbarians, and you have minions to play against that graveyard spell so this deck works wonders against graveyard alright guys now the last one the last replay I want to show you guys is against a zap bait deck with the same deck I'm playing the same deck here guys lots of zap bait decks are winning tournaments these days so I've got a fireball and a zap I've got two deadly weapons against zap bait decks I also have the ice golem which is deadly against the minion horde so, so far, so good. I'm getting my cards shuffled around. I'm getting ready to try to make a push here. Trying to see what his next move is. I'm going to go ahead and play play it safe here. Play my Musketeer, my Anti-Air. There comes the Elite Barbarians. I'm going to drop my Valkyrie. I'm going to zap. Zap the Fire Spirits behind to take care of those. And then I'm going to counter push, guys. Here comes my counter push. I took the Valkyrie to the tower, and my Elite Barbarians are wrecking the tower now. That is a fireball away from a tower right there, guys. Here comes his Elite Barbarians. I don't have my Valkyrie this time. I kind of missed my Fireball there, but it's okay. Because I'm in the lead right now. Minions will take care of this mess right here. Ooh. And here, we're making another push, guys. Another big push. Oh, but he does stop me with the Skeleton Army. That's okay. I use my Fireball to stop the Goblin Barrel. I'm pushing again down the left lane. It's going to take care of that. And he's not going to have enough damage to do it, guys. So there is my deck versus a zap bait deck. So it works really well against zap bait decks as well, guys. Okay, guys, just to recap, this deck, this deck can defeat Elite Barbarians, can defeat Graveyard, can defeat and can defeat Lava Hound in the air the air uh, decks. 
This deck is anti Royal Giant. And this deck is also anti Zap Bait. That is probably your five main things you need to defend against. And then always defend and then take your counter push, guys, to your to the tower. That's all the time we have for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope this deck helps you guys. Let me know if you'd use it. Let me know in the comments, guys. Let me know how, how it's doing for you guys in all arenas, not just legendary. Just try, try it in all different arenas. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Animals Play. Follow my live streams at Animals Play on Twitch, Mob Crush, and YouTube for weekly Clash Royale tournaments. Don't forget, guys, we have a tournament coming up every Saturday, guys, every Saturday around noon Eastern. So tomorrow there will be a tournament, guys. Come on in for that one. Don't forget to join my band group for access to tons of daily Clash Royale tournaments. The link for that is in the description. I also have created a brand new Patreon page, guys, where you can become a YouTube sponsor. You guys can sponsor me and this YouTube channel. The link to that is in the description as well if you're interested. I'm Caesar the Wolf signing off for today, fellas. We'll see you guys in the next video.